Romance books are infamous for their covers. Such a cover shouts in your face that the book is all about passion. But love stories can be more complex than that. They can tell us about the struggle for finding special connection with another human. If this is what your romance novel is about, the cover should reflect that. My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and this is how to design a romance book cover on Envato Tats Plus. First, download the assets. We're going to need a photo of the couple, a background, some flower petals for decoration, and a distinctive font for the title. You can find the links in the description. Open Photoshop and create a new file. There are many formats for book covers, but B-Format is among the most popular, so let's try this one. Make the image 129mm wide and 198mm high. If you want the cover to be suitable for print, use a resolution of 300 dpi and CMYK color mode. Use the Crop tool in the Rule of Thirds view. Then press Ctrl R to show the rulers and drag them to the lines. This way you'll create your own Rule of Thirds grid. You can turn its visibility on and off by using the shortcut Ctrl semicolon. The workspace is all set up, so now we can add the photos. Go to File, Place and select the photo of the couple. Align it with the grid. In the rule of thirds, the areas of focus should be placed near the crossings of the lines. Use your favorite selection tool to select the outline of the couple. Then go to Select, Refine Edge. Check Smart Radius and use Refine Radius tool to paint over the edge. This will help you get some hair back into the selection without adding the background. You can also adjust the edge for best effect. When you're done, set Output to Layer Mask and click OK. Place the background image into the scene below the couple layer. Resize it to fill the canvas and move it so that it doesn't interfere with the foreground. The photos are all there, but they don't look that well together yet. Let's work on that. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Adjust the radius to make the background seem more distant. Go back to the couple image and apply the Gaussian Blur to it as well. Then click on the mask of the Smart Filter and paint with soft, black brush to reveal the faces. Press Ctrl G to place the layer into a group. This will allow you to add another layer mask to it. Paint on this mask with soft black brush to blend the lower part of the photo with the background. Let's adjust the colors now. Add a selective color adjustment. Clip it to the layer below. Select blacks and make them warmer by playing with the sliders. The point is to make the shadows more similar to the colors in the background. The woman on the right is closer to the cooler colors of the background. We can accentuate this contrast by removing the warming effect of the selective color adjustment from her face. Our cover looks quite good already, but we can make it even better with a certain accent. What do you say we put flower petals flowing across the cover? Open the petals image as a separate file. Use the magic wand tool to select the white background, then invert the selection with Ctrl Shift I and refine the selection with Refine Edge. Set Output to Selection. Copy the petals and paste them into the main file. Place them in the lower part of the scene. To adjust them to the composition, select one of the petals, copy it and paste it on the right. 
This will make the petals flow diagonally across the scene. Match the petals with Ctrl E. The petals have their own shade of red, so we need to adjust it to the scene. Add a hue saturation adjustment. Clip it and colorize the petals. Now add a levels adjustment. Clip it and drag the black marker to the right to increase the contrast of the petals. Group the petals and their adjustments. Then right click, match group. Let's add some motion to the petals. They're supposed to be flowing after all. Go into the quick mask mode and paint with a big soft brush over some petals. Go out of the mode Invert the selection and go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Select an angle fitting the direction of the flow and adjust the distance. Deselect and repeat the process, this time selecting a different area. Use a slightly different angle to make the effect more natural. Now it looks as if these petals were here from the start. We're almost done, but there are still a couple of things we need to do to make the cover even more appealing. Let's add a trendy bluish tint to the scene. Add a photo filter adjustment with a blue filter. Add a black and white gradient to the mask of the filter to keep the top from being too bluish. Now. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, E to copy and paste the whole composition into a new layer. Add a strong Gaussian blur to it. Hold Ctrl key and click the thumbnail of the layer to select it. Then go to Select, Transform Selection and hold Alt key to move the selection away from the borders. Invert the selection and add the layer mask. Then add a Gaussian blur to the mask. This will create a nice mist around the cover. For now, the cover looks just like a beautiful poster. Let's add the text to turn it into a real cover. Use the Type tool to add the title over the petals. I use the Rachel font, white, with the first half of the title bigger than the other. You can adjust the settings in the Character panel to make the text look the best it can. Select the text and the background layer. Align horizontal centers. Add the author's name on top. I used the Trajan Pro font, smaller than the title, and I colored it with the color of the woman's shirt. Don't forget to align it as well. Let's add a snippet of an encouraging opinion in the empty area of the background. It should be smaller, but still visible. The red color of the font links nicely to the warmth of the lower half of the cover. And the cover is done. Doesn't it look beautiful? As you can see, nothing stops you from designing a romance book cover that is both tasteful and clear about the theme. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.